you lovely lot big warm welcome to anybody new joining my channel today guys i don't know if you know but may is the awareness month for fibromyalgia so i wanted to bring that to the forefront and do a nail design so i'm going to do some purple nails i'm going to do um purple on the little finger and the thumb and lilac on the ring finger and the point finger gonna throw in a little bedazzle in there as you do and as always guys i am gonna list below everything that i've used today i am gonna use two coats of gel polish on all the nails but into the ones that i'm gonna add the little bit of sparkle i am gonna push that glitter into that wet layer i will then double cure that to make sure that the gel underneath is fully cured in the lamp underneath that glitter then on the middle finger i'm going to draw a little donkey i saw it on a t-shirt uh, for fibromyalgia awareness and i just thought it would be amazing on a little nail um, and it's got the purple ribbon around its neck so like we get the pink ribbons when it's breast cancer we've got purple for fibromyalgia so while you watch me paint a couple of nails i'm just going to very quickly run through a couple of things about fibromyalgia because it is a condition that causes widespread pain and extreme tiredness with everybody it's not prejudice guys it hits women men and children ages usually between um 20 and 60 the symptoms of fibromyalgia can vary actually from person to person but the main symptom is a pain all over your body and there isn't a cure for it there's treatments and painkillers and therapies and some people even do exercise programs um, to help ease their symptoms but nobody actually knows what causes fibromyalgia it can start after a stressful event an injury illness or even the death of the loved one it honestly it's just not known there's about five million people in the us who are 18 years and older that have fibromyalgia and most people are diagnosed when they're middle-aged and the majority of people that have it 80 to 90 percent are women but men and children can have it too there's 18 tender points all located all over the body it includes the neck, chest, back and knees. Patients have fibromyalgia experience pain in at least 11 of these 18 tender points. I will come back to the facts of fibromyalgia, but very quickly, I'd like to show you this T-shirt that I saw. And this is the image of which I wanted to recreate on these nails today. So I drew it very roughly with a pencil. Then what I'm going to do is go in with frosted steel from CJP and that's going to be the main background for this donkey. It's like a, it's a grey but it's got a tinge of brown in there and I just thought it would be really, really good comparison. So I'm going to go round the outside, I'm going to fill that in and then I'm going to stick it in the lamp and I'm going to flash cure it. Then I'm going to work on the bottom half and do exactly the same. I'm going to go round the outside, go round that ribbon that I've drawn around his neck, fill that in with frosted steel and then flash cure that. So while I do that, I am going to reel off a couple more facts from the internet. So many people with fibromyalgia have memory and concentration problems, but this is actually referred to as brain fog or fibro fog. Um, I always refer to it as brain fog. Fibromyalgia usually doesn't have one main cause. Instead, many factors can contribute to developing this chronic pain condition, such as genes, an injury or trauma. Being overweight or obese may trigger fibromyalgia, but man maintaining a healthy weight can reduce these symptoms. So what exactly are the symptoms of this disease? Well, we've already spoken about chronic pain and tiredness but it does also get associated with irritable bowel syndrome stiffness numbness feeling weak an intolerance to the cold poor sleep headaches chest pain cognitive difficulties sensitive to light smells temperature and sound 
dizziness, anxiety and panic attacks. Honestly, there's a lot more than just those few. Um, but I'm trying to keep my video short. <laughs> but I do. There's there's a website. I'm only I'm only messing. It's it's a really serious disease and it is evil. It is not very nice. And when it strikes and you can have these attacks of IBS, of anxiety, it just knocks you sideways. It really really does. And then on top of that, you have pain and tiredness to contend with. There are websites out there, guys. I will list some of them below. I'll pop the links on there if you want to go and check it out. Um, there isn't a cure for fibromyalgia. Once you are diagnosed, all we can do is our best to treat it. So back to the nails. I am going to finish this off. And then what I'm going to do is give this a full cure. So I did the top half flash cured it did the bottom half flash cured it to go in with the purple so that it didn't mingle in with the shade that I'd already done there flash cure that but I'm going to fully cure it once I've actually finished this section so that's the background done full cure in the lamp then what I'm going to do is come in with a light gray shade here this is from Neo nails it has a code it's Urban Graffiti and I will pop that below. So what I'm going to do is pop that on the inside of the ears. Give that a flash cure. I'm going to come and I'm going to do a bit of a snout at the front. So I'm going to draw that in and then pull that polish down. So I'm not adding more. I'm going to use what I've put there. And if I need to go in with a touch more from my palette, I will do. Then what I'm going to do is flash cure that. In the lamp it goes. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to do the chest area. So that's going to be behind the ribbon and then as it comes down to the bottom. Once I've done that bit, that will be the detail. I'm starting on the detail now, trying to find the right words. I'm going to pop it in the lamp. I'm going to give it a full cure because we are going to paint over that and put in the legs and the uh, mouth and the nostrils and, and things like that. We're going to give that full cure and then we're going to come in and we're going to do some shading. So here I've mixed the background colour with a little bit of black and I've also mixed it with a little bit of white separately to go in and do some shadowing, shading and some highlights. Remember I'm using that picture as a reference, I'll pop it up again for you now. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in with the light and the dark and I'm actually going to blend it together as well. I'm going to start at the head and then work my way down, all down the left side of the body because if the light was to hit it, that's where the reflection would go. And like I said, I am using that photo picture as a reference when I'm doing this. So again, once I've done that and I am happy with all of it I will pop it in the cure in pop it in the lamp for a full cure and now I'm going to put the eyebrows on I'm going to do two little eyes I didn't do the eyes like the picture just wanted a couple of dots I thought that would be sufficient to be honest like I said I'm using it as a reference it's not a copy I'm going to flash cure that, come in and I'm going to do the snout, so the little nostrils and his little frown upside down, his little mouth, flash cure that, 
and then go in with the eye pupils a little dot of white on each to bring those eyes to life I'm then going to fully cure that guys when it comes out of the lamp I've got black on my brush so what I'm going to do is outline all of this image guys I'm not going to show you all of it but I am going to just quickly run through the sort of thing so I'm only getting a really little bit on my brush for a nice fine line you do have to keep going back into the gel paint to actually get more on your brush because obviously it doesn't hold a lot being a really thin detailer brush so again once I've done that no, I'm not very happy with that bit so you can take it off this is why we cure in between so when I do cock up and I do do mess up sometimes you know um, you can just wipe it away and I always flash cure I'm forever putting it in the lamp and flash cure it once I'm once I'm happy because uh, like I said when you do mess up or you're not completely happy you can go back and change it so using that dark shade so it was the steel grain I added a bit of black um, I'm gonna put a little mane on there so I'm gonna put his little hair on once I'm happy with that I am gonna flash cure it turn the nail round and follow that mane just round the back of his head I am then going to give that a full cure then guys we are coming towards the end of our video today so what I'm going to do is give it a full cure give it a generous layering of top coat and hold that upside down so that it levers out levels out the surface of that nail then guys I'm going to give it a full cure in the lamp and then it is the end of this video I really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play today and my interpretation for fibromyalgia awareness month of may guys thank you very much for watching please stay safe and until next time bye